da da do da 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 Welcome to my channel Crafting Mat. Today I want to show you some calibration snowflakes which I printed on my FL Sun V400 3D Delta printer. One arm has a gap in the middle, while the other one seems flawless. When checking this issue with a microscope, it was obvious that the inner two walls have no contact, which they clearly should have. Three out of 12 arms of the snowflake had this defect, and also the pattern how this occurred did not look random. So what exactly did I do to have this result? Well, I started Ultimaker Cura 4.13. I will just refer to Cura 4 later. This was the original Cura version to work with this printer. Even now it still can be found on the pen drive which is shipped with this printer. I sliced the snowflake with the standard profile which comes with Cura 4 for the V400. As you can see here, I did not touch the standard parameters, with one exception. I opted out for slower printing speeds. After slicing, I saved my code to the disk with a new name. And then I copied it to the V400 and started printing. And a little time lapse. And here is the gap. I was curious now and started Cura 5.2.1. I will just call it Cura 5 for simplicity from now on. With Cura 5, I did just the same thing again. Unfortunately, I could not import the profile from the earlier print from Cura 4. So I changed all parameters manually to the values they were set to in Cura 4. Some parameters in Cura 5 were introduced new compared to Cura 4, where they did not even exist. In that case, I did not use the functionality or I set it to a zero value. Again, I dropped the Snowflake STL to the workspace and sliced it with Cura 5. And of course, stored the G-code again with a new name. And let the V400 do its job. And this is the result. Do you remember that the gap was here with the previous print? Now the gap moved two positions to the left. Again. I measured all 12 arms and found out that the whole pattern moved two positions clockwise. So my next guess was to check what happens if the snowflake is rotated on the workspace in Cura 5. Will it also rotate the defect? If yes, this would be a clear indication that there is already an issue with the STL file. So I did that, sliced the snowflake stored the g-code to the disk with a new name and moved it to the printer and let the printer do its work again. The result showed that the STL is not the problem. The gap did not move by 30 degrees. It was still on the same position as it was with no rotation at all. But I did not give up here. Maybe rotating 45 degrees is different, as it will make the snowflake really sit different on the workspace. I gave that one a try, and the result in fact looked different. The cam could not pick it up proper, 
but I found out that the separated walls only had half of the original gap. But they doubled their presence now. 6 out of 12 arms had defects now. As said, less clear and also the length of the defect was shrinked. It looked like the defects were now to the left and to the right of the original defect, which we have seen with no rotation or 30 degrees rotation. Well, I guess you already saw it coming. To make sure I also checked 60 degrees rotation. The result here does not surprise anymore. The gaps can be found exactly where they were with no rotation or 30 degrees rotation. I had one more test to do. I created a chunkier version of the snowflake on my own to check if the defect is also present if there is infill. Another slice and another print later there was nothing obvious to see, but the issue was still there. When measuring the thickness of each and every arm of the snowflake, the same differences in thickness with the same pattern of occurrence was present. So here are my results. I do not have a solution for this. If you have any clue, please comment below. If this issue can be resolved, I will also create another video. Basically, I think the V400 and maybe any other Delta printer has an accuracy issue. I don't believe it is an issue of the STL and I do not think this is hardware related. You remember that the issue moved two positions counterclockwise from Cura 4 to Cura 5. This behavior is consistent and reproducible. And don't get me wrong. I would love to see this fixed, this is the reason for this video. But in fact, most 3D printed parts do not need this level of accuracy. We are talking about 0.2 millimeters. I assume this does not render a lot of prints useless. If you like this video, throw a like and maybe we see in my next video. Bye bye.